I'm gonna lift up the vehicle. I will look underneath to see if there's anything disconnected. And after that, we're gonna take this vehicle outside. Turn off the engine, Abraham. Start it back up. Okay, turn it off. Okay, good. At this point, the owner is gonna take the vehicle back to where he bought it from so they can fix the fuel level sensor in the tank. After that, this will be good to go, okay? So, I'm gonna check everything off camera. I'm just gonna make sure that all the hoses and all the lines are connected, and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video. So, Abraham, we're gonna reinstall this panel over here. Okay. Do you remember what you removed mm -hmm. up here? Yeah. What did you remove up here? These bolts. Those are nuts. Yep, nuts. Yeah, we're gonna put those nuts back on. Okay. So put those back on. Okay, good. So the panel is back on. Now, I wanna try something. So the other shop replaced yes. replaced that control module, right? Mm -hmm. What I wanna do, I believe this module is still good. Actually, this vehicle didn't need this module. So what I'm gonna do is, let's disconnect this module. Carefully. Okay, and then we're gonna remove it. And we're gonna put the old one back on and see if the vehicle is gonna start and I'm pretty sure it will so this is the module oh this one okay so that the mod that's the module that they installed at the other shop so now I'm gonna put this back on. Okay, put those bolts, I mean those nuts, back on. Yeah. So let's put the old one back on and see if it's gonna start. Okay, so we got the old module reinstalled so Abraham go back on the driver's seat and start the engine let's see if it will run perfectly yeah let's see if it's gonna run with the old module right Whoa, there, there it's it running is. yep it's so running perfectly. it's running fine so once again this module wasn't needed okay so this module wasn't needed, okay? That module is good. Turn it off. Okay, start it again. As you can hear, the engine sounds good. So this is the new module. We put the old module back on, and as you can see, the engine is running, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick check around the engine and then we're gonna put everything back together. After that, we're gonna wrap up this video. All right, turn it off. Start it back on. Perfect, buddy, turn it off. Guys, I wanna show you what I'm gonna do to fix the holes that were poked on these wires over here. So we're gonna use our liquid tape to seal, okay, these wires. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna go into those tiny little holes and this will seal it. And that way the wire is not gonna get damaged. 
Okay, so that's good. We're gonna let it dry. And after that, we're gonna reinstall our bottom back seat. Okay? Yep. Guys, I wanna show you something else that I found on this BMW. It looks like this is a piece of crap. So, first of all, this radiator shroud is broken and someone had zip tied it together. Now, when I called the customer, I told him what we found. I told him that his vehicle just ran out of fuel and the problem is the fuel level sensor in the tank. He told me that he was noticing before the vehicle died, the idle was rough and it started cutting out. Now as I'm inspecting it, guess what I found? Look at this. This over here is broken. And this is the tube that goes to the turbo. And this tube over here is the tube, I hope you can see it, that goes to the intake manifold. So the entire inner cooler is missing. So there is supposed to be an inner cooler that connects the, the charged air coming from the turbo all the way to this side and inside the engine. So basically the air that the turbo is compressing is just leaking out from here. Okay, so that's why when you give it gas, it idles rough and it tends to die. So I don't know what happened. Okay, this charge air cooler is completely missing. So it needs an entire air cooler for this engine to run well. So I hope you have an idea of what I'm saying. The air cooler looks like the radiator, okay, for the uh, to cool the air that's compressed by the turbo because if we follow this see this is broken if you follow this tube I hope you can see it if you follow it it goes so this tube so this over here is the turbo inlet so this is the tube that comes from the air filter and the second tube this one this over here is the tube that comes from the turbo outlet so the turbo compresses the air, pushes it through this tube, and it's supposed to come through the air cooler and then get into this tube over here, okay, and up to the intake. So, to get this engine to run well, the uh, air cooler has to be installed, okay? He's gonna have to find an air cooler. And I told him he has to get it from the dealer. No aftermarket parts, especially if you're driving a BMW. Okay, so that's what it is. That's the turbo up there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, that's the turbo outlet tube. All right, so we have to find a charge air cooler for this to get this engine to run well. So now I'm gonna lower the vehicle so we can wrap up this video. So this is why the engine was kind of shaking a little bit. That's why the idle is not good on this vehicle. I don't know how he was driving it because he told me before the vehicle died, he was driving it. So I don't know how he was driving it with this, with no air cooler on it. This is really weird. So we're gonna wrap up the video. We're gonna let him know what we found. And uh, since he just bought the car, he said he bought the car not too long ago. He's gonna send it back to whoever sold it to him so they can fix it. I called the owner of the vehicle. I told him what we have found. I told him that the problem was no gas in the fuel tank. So he ran out of fuel. That's why this vehicle wouldn't start. To fix this, we're gonna have to replace the fuel level sensor in the tank. And as I was inspecting this vehicle, I realized that this vehicle was missing a charged air cooler. The air cooler under the vehicle was missing. So I called him and he told me that he got this vehicle from an auction. So he had bought this vehicle from an auction. That's why it's in this condition. So I thought when he first told me that he bought it, I thought he had bought it from a, 
like a dealership or something because I told him if this is a problem you can take it back and he told me just diagnose it let me know what the problem is and if whenever you figure out what the outcome is I can take it back to where I got it from so I assumed he bought the vehicle from a dealership but then he told me he got it from an auction so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix everything that this vehicle needs he told me to go ahead and fix everything so he said just go ahead take care of everything that the vehicle needs so we're gonna get a new level sensor a new charge air cooler and that's pretty much it okay everything else in the engine bay looks good so I'm gonna order the fuel level sensor and the charge air cooler when those parts come in I will bring you guys back up I'm probably gonna do that off camera I'm gonna install those parts and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video okay so I will order the parts and then I'll bring you guys back up once the parts get here we are back here on this BMW X3 the customer gave us to go ahead to replace the fuel level sensor so here is the fuel level sensor and that's the part number so let me show you the part that we're gonna install so remember we diagnosed the problem of this vehicle we diagnosed why this vehicle wasn't starting and the engine was not starting because the fuel tank was empty while the fuel tank was empty the gauge on the dash the fuel gauge was showing close to half tank so this level sensor okay on the pump is defective so we just got the new fuel level sensor so we're gonna install this so that our fuel gauge can be showing us an accurate reading of the fuel level inside the fuel tank okay so I'm gonna install this now installing this sensor is really easy and straightforward it's basically gonna be everything we did on the first part of this video we're gonna remove the fuel pump we're gonna get the fuel pump out and then we're gonna install this fuel level sensor okay this is really easy to do I'm gonna do this off camera I will bring you guys back up after I install the new fuel level sensor after I get it installed we're gonna start the engine and check our fuel level on the dash okay and then I'm gonna show you the other things that I did off camera the shroud got replaced and I also installed a new charge air cooler okay and I did all of that off camera I'm just gonna show you those parts and installing those parts was pretty easy and pretty straightforward now let's install this new level sensor and then I'll bring you guys back up once I get it installed so I have installed the new fuel level sensor so here it is so right there as you can see this new one has some blue marks on it and here is the old one okay so we're good to go so now I'm gonna put everything back together and then I'll bring you guys back up I have reinstalled the back seat off camera so we're done back here everything is put back together so now let's go on the driver's seat and start the engine So right there, as you can hear, the engine is running, the engine sounds good, okay? There are no lights on on the dash besides this tire pressure monitor light, okay? So now, let's go under the hood, I'm gonna show you what I had replaced under the hood, and then we're gonna wrap up this video. As you can hear, the engine is running, here is the old radiator shroud that I removed let me show you the new one so here is the new radiator shroud okay so installing the shroud on this vehicle is really straightforward and really easy there are two bolts on each side of the shroud there is one over here and there's another one back here once you undo these two bolts you disconnect this electrical connector and there's another bolt over here 
that you have to undo to push this cooler out of the way and then the whole thing can just be lifted up the whole shroud can be lifted out okay the shroud slash fan housing all right so we are almost done we're good to go now I'm going to show you the charge air cooler that I have installed here is the charge air cooler that I have installed as you can see it looks new okay so this charge air cooler was missing that's why this engine was idling rough when we first started it okay so this is what we got now installing this charge air cooler is really straightforward I disconnected these tubes there is one tube on each end I disconnected this one and then there's another one over here okay so you push this clip down and then there is a mount over here on the radiator that we had to undo there's a clip on this side that you have to push down and then pull okay so this is really straightforward I installed a new charge air cooler in it so now the engine sounds better it runs well so now let's take this vehicle on a test drive okay let's test drive it and see how it drives so now I'm gonna reinstall the bottom engine cover and after that we're gonna test drive the vehicle so we have fixed the vehicle we had to wait a couple of days to get all the parts so this BMW is fixed so now I'm going to test drive the vehicle so let's go for a test drive and see how this vehicle runs So we're gonna back out of the shop. All right, so now let's drive this. So we are driving. The vehicle drives well, it has a lot of power, so this is fixed guys. We got it fixed, okay? So this vehicle came to us because it wasn't starting, it was a crank no start condition. We figured out why, we fixed it. We installed a new charge air cooler. We installed a new fuel level sensor in the tank. So everything works fine now. I mean, besides that tire pressure monitor light that's on, but we're good, okay? The vehicle drives well. So I'm going to turn around and drive back to the shop. And once I get back to the shop, I'm gonna bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video. As you can see, we don't have any lights on on the dash, no check engine light, okay? the vehicle drives so we have fixed what the vehicle came to us for so i'm gonna drive back to the shop i'll bring you guys back up once i get to the shop so we can wrap up this video so we are back here at the shop i'm gonna turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video so this bmw is fixed we figured out the problem we have installed a new fuel level sensor in the tank we have installed a new charge air cooler we test drove it the vehicle drives well so now i'm gonna call the customer so he can come pick up his vehicle i hope you liked the video if you did like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumb down but if you do you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future if this is your first time here subscribe to the channel Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.